Hey, it's Joel. I'm here at the Bay Area Maker Fair. Thanks to Matter Hackers. And with me is Joseph Prusa. Hey, man. Hi. I've seen you a lot. I've met you at the first Maker Fair for me like three years ago. Last year we talked a little bit, a little bit squirrely. Glad I got you pinned down right here. But you have something new to show. It's actually an upgrade to the multi-material. Can you talk about it? Yeah, sure. Uh, we actually had it at uh, the Murph. But yeah, we have one here printing. So we can take a look. Oh, oh. Uh-oh. I got attacked. <laughs> I mean, it's improved multi-material. Uh, it, it works a bit differently. I can show you later when I open it. Okay. Uh, it has its own custom board running uh, basically Port of Marlin. Open source, right? Yes, yes. And uh, what we are doing instead of uh, feeding it from the multi-material unit, it just feeds to the standard Mark III extruder. So. Uh, you don't have any difference in the feed rates or extrusion rates or any any limits in materials. Oh, so it it looks very similar to what the pallet does, where it when it's combining the filaments or managing the filaments, it still uses the direct drive of the printer, but yeah. it just uses the motors to feed the filament up to the point. Yes, but we we are not fusing the filaments. Uh, we are, we are ret retracting them back, but it's uh, only short short bay. That this is the selector which goes in front of the feeders. Uh, we, as it has custom board which uh, resides here, we have uh, some select buttons and uh, some status LEDs. So you will be able, if, if you want to unload something or load a filament, you could select which one and confirm so you do not have to do it from the LCD. It's, it's more of a separate unit than integration into okay. the main board, which makes it quite, uh, quite uh, more robust, I would say. So when I try to open it, hopefully I won't break it. <laughs> so here you can see that we have five uh, drive pulleys, which are standard from uh, from the Mark II. And when you when you select the when you select the filament, the, the motor is engaged, but you can see the barrel with idlers, and that uh, that selects the the filament which will feed. Also, when uh, when the filament fails to load into the main extruder. There is, uh, I'll put it back, uh, on here there is a small blade and actually it can retract the, the material, for example, with a blob at the end. Uh, it can retract it back and cut the end. And that's it, there's, no, there, there's nothing magical about it. It's just, it's just as if you would be switching the filament in the extruder by hand. It's automating more of the manual process of doing yeah. a, like a multi-material via height. Yeah, yeah. And, and we were also thinking that eventually we can do, if, if you want to have automated print farm, we can scale this to have like 20 materials. And if you order a print, it might also like pre-select the material and load it into the printer and just start printing. And you said this wasn't magic. No, it's... <laughs> <laughs> What's the availability of something like that? Well, we, uh, we have pre-orders for some time, but I think we are shipping in in start of June. We are doing a little bit more polishing, but also you know we need to get some of the Mark 3s out before we, we add another product to the, to the manufacturing queue. Well, talking about another product, though, I, I see on this machine behind us there is a PEI powder-coated yeah, sheet. Yeah, it looks yeah. different than the one Let that I you, have. Yeah, so the state stayed on that is that we had trouble uh, having the PI stick on the on the markings of the bag. Well, I had that with mine where the, the white lines actually left yeah, yeah, yeah. a mark on the bottom yeah, of the print. Yeah. So, so we tweaked the, the formula for the, for the white uh, marking and we also did some tweaks to the manufacturing process and yeah, it should be more, uh, more repeatable and we, we are having a first batch of 500 made right now and if it goes well, we are going into full production. Well, that's great news. I think, uh, according to the internet, a lot of people are really looking forward to that. Well, we've talked about the multi-material extruder, the new one, and we've talked about the PEI sheet, but uh, do you have anything back in R&D, any rumblings in a lab somewhere deep and dark at Prusa headquarters that you can mention? Uh, we have something which is semi-known, but I, can def I can't definitely tell it <laughs> in the other video because then it would uh, swarm our support. But we are slowly uh, venturing into uh, different methods of 3D printing than FDM. Different than FDM? Yes. 
Okay, I'll stay tuned and uh, I'll keep an eye out then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, have a good Maker Fair. I know you're awfully busy and we got people crowding around, so we'll let them get in and see this wonderful machine. Uh, Joe, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good Maker Fair. Bye. Bye.